one grand finals mega coming from the winner's side and ray coming from the loser side uh being sent to losers from by joshathan uh who he was able to overcome in the losers finals rematch and already immediately a, a whiff wonder wing a whiff or wing i guess i don't know Me Mega has not been touched once. Oh, oh uh, so we might need to. What'd you say? The, we, we might need to change the names. Um, oh! Whoops, thank you. Whoosh. There we go. Yeah, he has been touched, which is quite impressive. Yeah. Oh, alright. No longer a zero to death if you. Uh, now just a fight. Oh, Ray beginning to uh, try and make a comeback, but too little, too late, gonna eat a dash attack. That oh, dash yeah, attack is so good. Yeah, it's super good. Wait till you see what comes on next, Sweet Lou. Is he. What? <laughs> is that necessary? There wasn't that big of a percent difference. I was thinking he wouldn't go for that, but apparently he just wants to get over it. All right, nice upper chains coming from Topia Ray. Wait, what? Hold on. Ray's on his last stock? What happened? Yeah, so Mega went for the Nair up B suicide. Oh my god. I like yeah. blinked. How dare I type in chat for two seconds? He just might just lose the stock. He's fighting against Mega, that maniac. Oh wait, he got it with a suicide kill? Okay, so then they... All right, I see, I see, I see. We wanted to go for the double up air. Not sure if that would have reached. I think just going for damage is preferable rather than going for kills. <laughs> a good option for Ike off stage. You can just side B auto cancel and just no lag. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Oh, Ooh. interesting attempt. Like, does that does that counter actually like potentially make a difference? I feel I feel like that's kind of a ill-advised uh, way to try and deal with that situation. But I mean, maybe he just knows more about it than I do. I, I totally believe it. Anyway, oh, a little Ooh. dash dance, dash dance, dash dance since the dash attack, but I, oh, I'm not actually going to seal it out. I like that he did the Wonder Wing with the grenade, because uh, once the Wonder Wing hit his shield, the grenade kind of covered uh, the end of it. Yeah, he probably could have gotten out of shield of E if that were the case. Oh. He didn't have the grenade. Ooh, doesn't have a oh. jump. Well, I think he did, actually. Not too sure. Uh, nice slide B. It's gonna just run off from the top plat to mid plat. Might as well. Right now, Mega's just trying to find center stage, but uh, Ray is just like just partying over here in center, just being like, "Yeah, come on through." Boom! Ah, I like that. He waited so that uh, he would just armor it, and uh, it wouldn't like have uh, I break out of the grab at all. Wow! Oh well. <laughs> Yeah, and now what was a large uh, lead for Mega, suddenly uh, Ray's making quite a convincing comeback here. Oh! Well, if he gets a grab, he could maybe get like an up tilt, maybe an up smash. <laughs> He's like throwing those grenades from below. All right, and the forward tilt's gonna end Ray's fun. <laughs> I that was that was a good dash back F tilt. That was. That was that was scary, everything. <laughs> All right, so yeah, we're gonna be moving on to game two. Uh, Mega, coming from the winner's side, only has to win uh, one set to do it. So he's now two games away from ending this tournament. We'll see uh, if Ray has anything to say about that or will we get a reset? Oh, look at, look. 
Look at this moment. <laughs> boom, boom. Wow. Yeah, I thought I missed a clip on the kill, but it just turned out one of the kills was two kills. Say that was a good F tilt near the end because he, I think he noticed. Yeah, so right there, I think Ray was trying to condition him to just stay in shield, and then Mega was like, "You know what? My shield's already down. I might as well just throw an attack." So he just did dash back, and it worked perfectly. Yeah. Also, no one's surprised, but uh, Ray notorious for just running it back. Um, and honestly, like he was doing fine. Like even though he started off uh, at a bit of a deficit, the, the way he brought it back, he, he something clicked, and uh, you know he he just like threw off the entire rhythm that uh, Mega was reading into. So you know, if uh, Ray's able to keep that same energy, it could it could spell bad news for Mega. It almost feels like a mid-set, like, Zenkai boost. It's like, you lose your stock, but you come back stronger. Ooh. Um, how does he recover? Good choice. Right, yeah, just throwing out a couple normals here and there. You know, I kind of like that. He threw him to the top flat and was hoping to get like an air conversion into up air. Maybe eventually bear. I kind of like that. Extending combos with the platform. gonna take it. Just solid play overall. Alright, gets the grab. What's the damage? Alright, 21. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, just go for the upbeat. Yep. <laughs> yeah, just keep the, the conveyor belt up. going. Like, un until he can, like, give it a proper punish, might as well go for it. That was a pretty good way to beat out the option. Still has a couple of Wonder Wings under his belt, so he's fine. Just his usage of grenade is just spot on. Just converts it into another grenade. Really optimizing. Combos off of grenade, just stacking up so much damage. Right. Ooh, he wanted the drag down air to grab, but he wanted the other side. <gasps> oh, the he didn't Ooh. snap to the ledge and bounce off, and got caught by the up B. What an unfortunate like chain of events for like ban Banjo just trying to recover. <laughs> he went for something fancy. He was gonna go for a wave land. But I think Ray DI'd away, so he was safe. Oh, is that a regrab? Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, avoiding the regrab and just going for the Wonder Wing. Although, honestly, I think he could have went for the regrab because he, he definitely made Mega think that he was going to go for that. So Mega already had like uh, like left the, the ledge coverage and like, uh, you know, was reading for the Wonder Wing. Mm -hmm. That like that's that's some next level layers if you're able to like like force that sort of situation and just like mix them up like that. Oh, definitely. I mean, we've been seeing mix ups for both these players. <gasps> Goodbye. Uh, yeah. Just keeping it safe. Just throw out the forward air, you get the kill. Ooh! Almost catching that. 
But you got that turnaround bear so fast. <laughs> Oof! He's got his nair stale enough to a point where he could probably kill off of it. This is really scary. You do not want to be hit by a weak nair. Boom. Oh. He's off stage. Great awareness by Mega when he was just like, just tumbling down, uh, not to like air dodge because of that egg, knowing that he'd be safe from it. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, just keep him, keep it safe. Pressure shield. That's that, it. Or not. It. Battlefield. I can't get over how good that spike um, is. Oh, yep, yeah, that's it. Let's no. Match. Oh, up tilt. He popped out too quick. Honestly oh worth God. it, yeah. yeah. Oh, 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 ah! Oh, <laughs> I feel like we're in a similar situation to what game one was again. Are we going to see just a forward tilt for Mega just to take it? Ah! Ah! Oh, right at ledge. Oh, God, that egg just probably just throws off your entire rhythm. It's super spooky. Oh, I, I, they, they, they both don't know how to approach. They're just was, so scared. That was a great commitment to that high recovery. Ah, ah, ah. That's it. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> Jesus, guys. Banjo and Kazooie. That was a. Uh, <laughs> that was really down to the wire. Yeah, yeah, you said it, Brady. Those footsies. It, it was just really good. Like they were just pressuring each other with their with their being, and just like any move they threw out was gonna be very safe. And it was just at the, at the end, it was just a read on movement, not a punish, but just like, yep, I, I'm in, I'm here, and I'm gonna catch that jump. Really, really, a uh, really a uh, solid play from both of them. As one can expect from Mega and Ray, these are both very good players from the real world. So, I know that Mega has been uh, tweeting about his, um, his smash resume for the Ryuga cord, god darn. Which I think is really funny. Anyway, game three, winner of this. Uh, we'll have counter pick advantage if we see a game five. Although, honestly, at the pace we're going, it might just all be Battlefield. Uh, <laughs> they both loved it. They both loved it. I, I don't mind at all. I mean, they get some crazy interactions on the stage. <gasps> That's so bad. Oh, oh. What a chase! Did he, did he jump? I don't know. I we'll, we'll take a look at it uh, after the set. But damn, it is so scary on plats. <laughs> oh, that was a good stuff, but wasn't enough. I, I'm not sure why he went for the up. Yeah, I guess damage. Boom. Yeah, that's, that's end lag. That's okay. Wow. Not, not really much of a punish there, but whatever. You know what's um, interesting? He when he forward smash, he hit the egg, which then extended the hitbox, which made the move end later, which gave Ray more time to punish it. If Ray thought of it that far, that is just nah. Tier. I mean, maybe, but no. Nah. <laughs> if anything, I would say it's possibly like a general rule of thumb, where it's just like I'm gonna put this out here, and that. Uh, either way, it's gonna help me. But, I'm all for giving Ray credit, but I, I don't think he's playing 5D chess. I mean, I'm scared of moments where he delays the F smash and then he 
potentially gets hit by it because you never want to go through that scenario. Like, I've yeah. seen people where they delay a hit, they trap it in a bunch of freeze frames, and then all of a sudden it just smacks them. It's just... That's like the worst feeling we could ever have. Oh, I feel boy. like Mega looks so intimidating on the platform. Like he's just jumping from like platform to platform, and it looks so scary because you know he can just run off and throw out any area he wants safely. Yeah, there's I've, no rift. We've just seen, uh, we've just been seeing them like dance around each other this entire time. But it's honestly been uh, Ray trying to to get in to even up these percentages, and uh, finally able to do it. And here we are, super high percents. Mega able to squeeze out an F tilt right before the grenade uh, stuffed him. Just quick enough to take uh, Ray's second stock. So once again, you know, Ray in a catch up posi position. And uh, on Battlefield, that can be quite tough. As we can see right here, you know, Mega is just kind of chilling on top. Just being like, yeah, that's fine. It's okay. I'm going to come down with Nair. Man. It's so funny because like you would say that like maybe some uh, like some players would be like if I whiff that it's like that's it I gotta let go of it but Ray Ray doubles down he's like I'm this, no I'm gonna get it and you're not gonna read me doing it again all right this move has a part two and uh, sorry bud so yeah. <laughs> So with that, Ray bringing it back to a last stock situation. Now, who is able to build this lead? It, honestly, with the way things have been going, they're probably going to be climbing the percents together. Wow. Goddamn. I didn't mean, like, literally trading hits. All right. Now, Ray beginning to pull a small lead. All oh, great. Ooh. Oh, that, that that might, nope. He kept his jump. Side B. Mm, probably could have used the grenade a little bit better, but that's okay. Yeah, I mean, honestly, in that situation, because he land, he grabbed it while landing there. Like maybe, like this would be this is like ultra matchup specific stuff, but like maybe get like uh, more practiced with the Z drop so you can still do your aerial. So you can continue your combo. That would be some crazy stuff, you know. And when Ike is just ready for that, he's just like, "Yeah, I'm finding an item character. I don't give a shit," you know. That would be so cool to see like non-item characters uh, be like doing that extra spicy item play. The mash out was so good. I have no idea how he got out that fast. Oh my god, he's at 169 percent. Up oh, that! Oh, yeah, the, grenade a, is the grenade! Working in Mega's favor. Come on, you can, you can get up the, you can get up the, and he's dead. He's Jesus! Dead. Wow, you know what? That forward smash was safe because of the grenade. How's the grenade benefit? It, it shouldn't benefit. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Oh no! Okay, you, got, you have Wonder Wings. You have Wonder Wings. Uh, okay, not anymore. You don't have any more Wonder Wings. Oh. Wow. That's it? No, no. Oh wow, those, those uh, the blue eggs are having some surprisingly amount of knockback because he's at 200%. <gasps> wow, what a turnaround. Would he have snapped to the ledge if it weren't for the grenade? I'm crying. I think he might have. I think the grenade actually uh, was a double agent. I think the grenade was an imposter. The grenade was an imposter. Oh my no. god. <laughs> Mega in the chat. I'm nasty. Oh, okay. shut up, Mega. Oh, oh yeah. Actually, let's see this first stock again. I want to see right, if that, he that... caught his jump or something. Just, oh yeah, he, he caught his jump. I he saw. was just like a, a boom, boom. Yeah, yeah, he did. Saw the Kazooie start to lift out of the backpack. The grenade fought against Ray that last stock. It's like every time he threw it out, it would intercept Mega's hit, uh, unsafe hits, like unsafe kills. So then, rather than be stuck in end lag, Mega would just be put in like an awkward position, and then he could just recover from it because side beat. So yeah. It's like the grenade kind of killed him. Okay. 
Uh, so here we are, Mega now on tournament point. If he's able to clutch out this game as well, then that, that's going to be it for Xeno Wi-Fi 32. Um, but, you know, just like with how close these matches are have been, you really can't count out Ray. Uh, although, I, really, the adaptation that Mega was making with, like, dealing with the grenades, like, some of that looked a little bit accidental, but others just looked like, yeah, getting intentionally hit by that, especially when your opponent hasn't really caught on uh, to, like, taking advantage of that. You know, it really uh, just messes up any rhythm that you would normally expect. It definitely. Whoa. Ooh, I like that fancy wave land. Oh. Right. Getting a little bit trouble coming down. Oh, never mind. Wait, did that? Just right at the beginning of Wonder Woman. Oh, I, I missed, uh, missed it, but we'll probably see in the replay. It was right before the kill happened with that dash attack. Now, god damn, Mega's at. Oh, is that it? Yeah, that's yeah, it. He's done. Yeah, he's out. Good job. That was good. Ah! That's really good because Rage Ike can do that suicide up B, and once he does that, that's a huge game changer. So he's Did, very lucky to get that kill. Was it, was it done at the first egg, or was it the second egg that sealed it? I think the second egg? Okay, yeah. Yeah, the second egg. Yeah, so he really needed a double snipe to make that work. Uh, yeah, and just kind of putting, uh, you know, Ray back back in there, you know, not letting him get a chance to build any sort of lead. This is the conversion off ooh, of that ooh, here. Ooh, oh, oh, this oh, pressure! <gasps> and get the late fair. Ha! <laughs> Where are you taunting? Why, why aren't you edge guarding, huh? Thought he can't come back. It, it, it's no wonder that the Wonder Wing is able to just come back from the even the greatest depths. And you lost your stock! Oh, you lost I'm gonna blame it all on the taunt, alright? Start feeling yourself too hard. Think you're nasty? Thought it was hot. Guess what? You're not! <laughs> Good up the I am crying. Alright, we got a second taunt going to even up the stocks. I mean, that, that's, with all that said, he does have a right to be confident. That yeah. wave land was brilliant, and that the, air dodge read was spot on. Oh yeah, no, that was a fantastic just, uh, just string of moves. Like, what, just great setups by Mega. Uh, but, you know, it's funny. Taunts actually do affect Ray, not not so much negatively. Uh, well, it depends on how you view it because I, it does make him a bit more aggressive. But like Ray is still so hard to read. Like he's not brain dead aggressive. Like he he's not gonna be just like rushing at you. Like he he just kind of like turns it up to eleven. And you know we might see this here, but I don't. You know depending on uh, how limiting he is, just uh, in. in uh, what Mega's doing t to just make it that he can't like go two balls to the wall. Uh, we might not see too much of a change, but right now getting a lot of damage uh, in favor of Ray. Okay, he's at like 134 just because he can't get through that grenade. It's because he taunted, man. Yeah, it's because he taunted too. Yeah. Just, Kazooie ain't having it. She's too Definitely sassy. Having it. What? <laughs> Who's nasty now? <laughs> Good lord. Since when was Banjo versus Ike such an explosive and yeah. like... Yeah! <laughs> biting... What a hit. That was such a weird... Like, god damn, what? That was so good. That was beautiful, because he knew that... Mega was basically gonna panic out of shield, so he was just like, you know what, I'm gonna cover every option. If you spot dodge, you're dead. If you roll, you're dead. If you roll in, well then, I have enough time to get back to you. It's just like... Well, you, you know what? He's getting in his head, dude. Because I think uh, it resulted... Oh man, that double snipe was so cool. I think we might see the super cool string from Mega 
which then revolt, uh, resulted in his demise if they don't start. Alright, now never mind. Okay. These games on Battlefield have been insane. It's like Ray either gets a chain of just grenades and tenaires and then proceeds to get like 70 or 80 percent or mega gets some sort of crazy ear dodge read and yeah. just kills them early and and you know honestly this might not even be like the best stage for either of them in this matchup but like i'm guessing mega is of the same uh thought as ray where like ray is very stubborn if he loses on a stage he'll just run it back and so it seems that mega is of the same thought which then puts us in a forever cycle of just staying on the whatever game one landed on and here we are five games later it's battlefield once again i gotta say raise the eye has been pretty good like a lot of people will panic versus ike and they'll roll away yeah and you never want to do that because if you get caught uh at the very beginning of the roll you actually buffer di so a lot of people will die earlier than expected because they buffer di away so he's been doing a really good job of not panicking yeah, it, the, those quick moves, like, when you're trying to just get away from them, you, you definitely need to be uh, aware of that, because you don't want to make their move more powerful than it is. <laughs> Who's going to get the kill first? Alright, tilt, set him off stage. I'm glad he's adding more wavelength to this movement. That's good. Yeah, getting more ground time so he can just focus more on the juggle. But Ray's gonna take that first stock. But with not much else to say for it, Mega returning immediately, saying, no, 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 no. We keeping this even. Even it even. Because the only one who's gonna be winning is me. Nice if he keeps doing that, then he'll have a better time against Grenade. If he just keeps snaring in place, then that beats it out. I think he's starting to figure that out. Chat saying maybe game 10? Maybe. With how even it is, it really just going to depend on how the flow of this match is going to go. If uh, Ray is able to take it, we'll, we'll be seeing a reset. <gasps> God. Boom! No. Oh. Where, where is he going? These are just over commitments over over commitments. I have never seen Banjo and Ike go ham like this. Mega, Mega is honestly one of the most fun Ikes to watch. I, I just love the way he plays this character. Such like fancy movement of the mm -hmm. like beyond wave oh. just like great way to hear it out. <gasps> so intimidating on platform. Oh that's a great punish. Uh, honestly, it's like probably one of the most optimal punishes you can do, especially in the situation where uh, Eve is going to land him on the platform so he doesn't have time to like land there and do like up smash or forward smash. Let me just do my aerial smash attack. And anytime you can get Wonder Wing to result in a kill, that there's no waste there. Unlike that Wonder Wing, which was a complete waste because just a misinput of trying to get the grenade out. A couple of those, like we'll accidentally wonder Wing to like hit part of the stage. That's just unfortunate. Did you not only lose a wonder Wing, but also you're stuck in like this end lag, and now you're pretty much dead. You got the right percent. All nice right. Back here. All right. This is last stock. Once honestly, again. This is Ike, so you can up be suicide and you're dead if you get into that so i am a little bit afraid for uh ray here you're just gonna have to like dance around the platforms stay safe
right, right now. Like, they haven't had too much interaction, just kind of focusing on these footsies, but Ray, other than that misinput on the Wonder Wing, hasn't been really giving Mega much uh, ins to just tack on, like, little bits of damage. But, you know, what? you take an inch, make it into a mile. Uh, honestly, this is kind of all stemming from that one... Uh, this input, you know, he lost center, and then that just kind of gave him enough. And now we're seeing some very even percentages here. Ooh! Oh, okay. He has he has one more Wonder Wing left. He tried to he tried to intercept the quick draw with the up tilt and just end it right there. That would have been sick. He's still trying to intercept it. I respect that. Can you can he trade with that move? Like maybe. Okay, okay, that's it, that's it. That's it. Whoa! Reset. Wow. All right. Well, we're we're going on to set two. Good lord. On to true finals. I kind of low-key wanted it to end because I'm uh, tired and hungry, but it's okay. This is uh, some pretty sick nooch. Um, does anyone want to take a bet on uh, it not being Battlefield? Because uh, I'll, I'll, I'll take that bet. I think we're just going to go back to Battlefield. I just, it's so funny. It gets the down smash, the down, uh, the down throw, and then just like up till, up till, up till, up till, please hit. I'm <laughs> behind on momentum. I haven't won in 12 minutes. All right, well, bring it back, Mega. You guys are putting on a phenomenal show. Really great play uh, from the both of you. And uh, I'm excited to see how this next set is going to play out because of it. Oh, Mega, Mega, you're Ike. Big fan. SM64 until they start the next set. into it. Three, yep. Two, Battlefield one, once again. Go. Can set. The true finals. Yep. Mega now being sent to the to, to losers. Both of their uh both of them now on the line. Oh, Mega. God, that Wonder Wing is such a good anti ether. Wow! Zero to death by Ray! Oh my god. I hope you raise the stage. Oh my god. Ray coming off with that set win. Oh! 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 Air I feel like he's panicking. 
I miss Ray. Ray's so good. Beautiful Danjo Kazooie. Which I never thought I would ever say after the numerous amount of banjos I've fought on uh, yeah, Wi-Fi, mean, but this is different. That's just what goes to show you when you when you just see like uh, just really expert play uh, on a character, like any anything is interesting. You know, it just has to be in the right hands. And uh, Ray really just you know, while playing to banjo strengths, this also just phenomenal neutral and just uh, awareness. You know, overall, like, great player. His reads are just spot on. Yeah. Like, he just knows that if someone rolls this way, he's like, okay, if they roll this way, they're gonna die at this percent. Or if they roll in, I can keep the combo going. Mm -hmm. Oh! Whoa. All right, that one was pretty Wi-Fi. Very hard to react to that kind of already in that point blank situation, and Wi-Fi not gonna help that. But all that is is gonna spell another stock for Ray. Now in the biggest lead we've seen this entire set. This entire grand finals, excuse me. I love those near drag downs. Like whenever he gets one, I always love it just because he's able to convert so much off of it. Uh, uh, so still good. Alright. Okay. So he leaned forward with his forward tilt, which then put him in prime position to eat that back air. I think if he didn't do that, uh, there was a chance it would have whiffed. Maybe. Maybe. All right, gets the throw. Just goes for up air. That's simple. Yeah, he's not committing too much. He's pretty much just running from platform to platform. Just waiting for the right moment to intercept. Alright, is Mega gonna bring this back? Mega saw, he was just yeah. like, I see your really sick play. Don't worry, I have sick plays of my own. Nope, but not gonna have anything to challenge that Wonder Wing. And, and suddenly, Ray immediately gains center stage. Really good position to be in. Mega just chilling on the platform. Oh, shoot. Just kind of handing it over to, to Ray to just like wreak havoc. Just making all this projectile spam. And get out of here. Is that? Oh, okay. We almost saw a two stock. Let's see if. I mean, it's still online. It's still possible. Oh, the forward tilt's going to miss in the wrong direction. Panic up B, I think. Oh, good wait. Still with the stock, just bear. I all think right, this is, that is it. Oh, it isn't. Such fast mashes. Ah! Ah! Oh. Alright, still no two stocks this entire grand finals, so, you know, it, Mega sitting at 144 to, to raise zero on this last stock. Uh, you know, I, I wouldn't be surprised if Mega's able to do it if he doesn't die right here, but he doesn't! Still oh. struggling to find an in to get just any damage. Oh, that, that come on, right, this has to be, right? It. Yeah, okay. Yes. I was gonna say, give me a break. Except don't. This is really, this is really uh, entertaining. Oh, good. Oh god, self-proclaimed nasty Ike player getting up tilted. He's in game one. Yeah. Uh. Oh, boom. It's just scary because we've seen this before, right? Where Mega was at like 200, I believe, and he made the comeback. It was just intimidating. Man, Wonder Wing is such a good anti ether tech. That's crazy. He's like, yeah, I'm invincible, lol. <laughs> and then here we saw Mega almost able to take uh, the even up the stocks, but then Ray landing with the Wonder Wing, able to, to net a two stock lead. The, like I said earlier, the largest lead we've seen uh, between these two players in this grand finals. In the entirety of this grand finals. Yeah, I mean, I mean, speaking of Wonder Wings, I feel like that makes or breaks the matchup. It's like, if you miss the Wonder Wing, then you're open to getting punished and dying. But if you land that Wonder Wing, you're packing on a ton of percent. And you use that as like an anti ether It's like, now you're causing Ike to second guess one of his best options. Yeah. 
What yeah. other character can do that? And once again, uh, just going to Battlefield. I, look, if if Ray is able to win this game, because I think Ray now has won the last three games in a row. Uh, so, you know, a, as close as these have all been, the fact that Ray has been able to achieve the win condition three times in a row now uh, just does mean that he is beginning to pull ahead of Mega, and Mega needs to change something. And honestly, maybe the stage. Like, Ray is, has adapted to the stage very well. And, you know, not, not that he's giving a run, him a run for his money, it's just that, like, he's won the last three games, so that has to count for something. Yeah, I mean, it, it definitely does. I was thinking more so, like, if it's not Battlefield, like, what stage would you pick? And I was thinking <gasps> maybe Smashville. Maybe Smashville. I mean, I could also see that as one of uh, Ray's bands. Uh, I honestly think that, like, maybe just seeing uh, maybe PS2, you know, just to, for the extra space. Or hell, even even Kalos, honestly. I don't know what their bands would be, but I kind of... Hmm. Yeah, maybe. Anyway, super even second stocks for both sides. Uh, but yeah, like, Ray has been getting the first kill, and it's been up to Mega to even up the stocks, which, you know, kind of already puts him at a disadvantage, because it leaves open the possibility for him not evening it up, and then uh, getting a, quite a lead for Ray. But, regardless, he did even up the stocks, and is got a small percentage lead that didn't last very long. Ray covering a lot of options. Oh, but a an, an possible edge guard situation here. All right, nope. Loses it. I thought he was gonna do like a near drag down on the top flat and re grab. I was curious on what he would do there. Regardless. Ooh, wow. The tail end of that uh, up air. Ugh. You know, one thing that I think. Mega could use is grenade while in shield because if the grenade explodes and he's stuck in shield, definitely gain some benefits from that. Because then if Ray tries to run in with an attack, then the shield covers it and then he can just get hit by his own grenade. I'm curious to know Mega will go for that. So far, it doesn't seem like he needs to. Mega, uh, you know, he's spending more time on stage, which I like. He did get a little bit harassed there by the egg into a grab combo. Didn't result into a stock, but I, he is switching up how he's trying to recover. Uh, not, not recover, just like play the neutral. Because um, he seems like if he's going on the platform, he's actually, instead of making it hard to catch him, he's just giving Ray time to set up. So I, I like the, uh, you know, experimenting with that to see what he can get for him. And now, you know, he's in the position where he has stage control. God, that, that grenade just covered everything. He just scared him. He didn't know what to do. He was just like, I just, I'm going to respect it. And he's just pushing him to the edge, relinquishing stage control. Oh, that was a good attempt there. I think if he had held forward, he did retreat that forward air. If he had just went forward with it, he would have gone across up to miss the jab, the, the grab. Oh, but know that stuck with uh, forward air. And he's gonna do it. Oh, where is he going? You never want to stand that close next to ledge. If Mega wins this, I, I, I almost want to see Mega ban this stage. Because if if he leaves it open, Ray will undoubtedly pick it because that's how Ray is. But either way, like I want to see a change of scenery, uh, just possibly. But I mean, technically, if Mega does win, then it means that like he he's made the proper adjustments on the stage. So actually, it would be maybe fine to to come back. Oh, it's, it's, he's doing a great job of walling him out. Like, look at all this percent that Utopia Ray is getting. Yeah. Seems like Mega's getting a gauge of where. Ray is kind of throwing out the projectiles, and he's just like, instead of challenging it with Nair or Fair, he's kind of just letting it go, jumping the platform, then coming back. Yeah, uh, and I'm really happy to see that Mega is like spending more time on this, on like the the main stage, and not just giving Ray uh, that extra time because like just making the grenades like more potent. That was a brilliant Phantom Foot School right there. He did Phantom Foot School on top left. That's really uh. smart. Little by Every little. Every time he lands a grenade, it's so intimidating. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
Nice. That time, that time he mistimed it that where the grenade was still in the explosion of uh, in the invincibility of the Wonder Wing, and that time it uh, you know it worked against him because it, it did hit him after Wonder Wing, and Ray uh, wasn't able to hit Ike with uh, the Wonder Wing or the grenade. So perfect setup for Mega to take that stock with an up air. Yeah, you know what? With how with how Mega has switched up uh, the way he's been treating the stage, yeah, we could we could see Battlefield again. But maybe he'll ban it. It, it could be a mix-up. Because at least at this at this point, it's 1-1, one, one, which means the next game is like game one of a best of three. So if, if he were to ban FD uh, Battlefield to force a change, then, you know, we might end up at, uh, in a best of three on that, on that new stage. It's possible, but we'll see. All stages are big. All the stages are BS besides Yoshi's and Smashville. Doesn't that Pardon? mean you what? have more than those two to just pick from? Or I'm. Ready? Regardless, yeah, we're just going back to Battlefield. Uh, they didn't leave the arena. to see Battlefield and Battlefield over and over again just because I feel like with this particular rule set I see a lot more people going to like Yoshi's for example or sometimes they'll experiment and go to like Nova here and there so it's interesting to see him just go with the basic like default Battlefield stage. Yeah, I mean like a, a lot of, well like I said earlier Ray is stubborn that if he loses he'll just go back to whatever stage um, but you know like as as for like Mega, um, he might be subject to the same thing. But you know, if you're keeping it even and you you know really just believe in yourself to to like make the right plays, then honestly, making yourself the only variable that changes it can sometimes be really good. Good Lord, Ray, wow, from downtown, Literally all the way across, double Wander Wing into the blast zone to, to seal up that stock and then come back like it's nothing. All right, two, two wings left on the stock. Usage of neutral air to set him off stage. Uh, uh. I'm just gonna commit to an F smash there. That's. Okay. <laughs> okay. Alright. Air into. Okay, nice DI. And then that's a. I was actually curious enough if we'd go for a back throw or a down throw. I wouldn't be too sure. Back throw, send him off stage. Using the eggs to cover, but yeah, just a side B through it. This is really good position for Ray right now. Mega needs to take the stock and then try to even it up. But instead, Ray again with a two stock lead. It's definitely possible for Mega to bring it back with how much they've like played footsies with each other and can go quite a long time without like successfully landing a hit. It's definitely possible. Just right now, this is such a good position for Ray. Oh, all right, oh, all right, that's Mega it. Hogging all the rage. Oof. Nice catch. Good punish on that forward smash. Bike up damage. Oh, air dodges. All right, we're still on the full stock lead here. So like Mega needs to be careful. He has to be surgical. To, uh, like get get the ins and without getting hit, but instead he's doing the exact opposite, <laughs> taking 90 damage as I'm saying this whole game plan. 
you know, I do, I do respect that, like, little tomahawk grab that he was gonna go for, but it just didn't work out in his favor. Like, grenade is just covering so many options. Like, you can't even go for that. I like the up B. That was a really good wait. Nair, air dodge in, go for another grab. Oh, oh. oh that's it. That's it. Yeah, and, and yeah. finally, the first two stock of this grand finals. Uh, Ray taking a 2 1 lead. Now, Ray on tournament point. In the first stock, we saw that Mega was on tournament point being up 2 1, but now, after the reset, the shoe is on the other foot, and Ray in a position to take the tournament from the loser side. Wow. That that kill from from downtown. <sighs> that was ridiculous, man. I, I'm not even oh, not even surprised anymore. Ray is just insane. I don't know, man. Try and ban it and just see, like, uh, just the, from one of the stages that you're banning instead, you know, like, it might not be as bad, you know? Is he, is he asking for tips on bans? No, he's just kind of saying that he's kind of trapped in Battlefield, but, you know, if he bans it, we'll just... Sega, you are not trapped in Battlefield. You can literally ban. Oh, even Dill. Or wait, no, Ray Ban. I mean, for a little bit, He's you were treating uh, Battlefield as a flat stage when you were staying low after, you know, he was using all the platforms to his own advantage. Shut up, Mike. Does Banjo really just like have that much like juggle power on Ike that a flat stage would be that uh, bad for him? I mean, maybe? I, I, I can't speak on it on authority of this matchup at all. Yep, and we're just gonna be running it back. Three, two, one, go! All right, we're going straight back to Battlefield. I'm curious to know what adaptation is going to take. Uh, I mean, what? I'm here, guys. Hey! Never uh, the... Wow, we got the Sonic Riders music going, huh? Yeah. How you doing, John? Oh, I'm doing fine. I just finished getting roped into Mike's matches. Let's go, Mike. Anyway, here we are, game four, set two, all battlefield, uh, Ray and Mega. Nice. Yeah, I was watching the set like in the background while mm. I was playing. I was like, wow, look at Utopian Ray over here. It's fancy. <laughs> with, his, with his outrageously sized clutch factor. Which one? Huh? The clutch factor on both ends have been really crazy. Yeah, oh, Mega had like, yeah, Mega had like 200%, and he made a comeback, I think, somewhere in the middle. Good job, Mega. Well, I'm talking about like Ray's banjo in general. Yeah. Like Ray, like his Palutena is very consistent. I mentioned this in the chat a little earlier. Ray's Palu is very consistent when he's ahead, behind, or at even. But his banjo. Like when he's behind, something like snaps in his head, and he just goes off. It's beautiful. Insane. I remember he was up against Joshathan, and this was in winners. He was on FD versus Joshathan. One stock match, to right? three. 
Yeah. Yeah, that, that's an example of what I'm talking about. He does that on the daily with his banjo. Like, before uh, quarantine, too. Oh, wow. But yeah, if Mega's pulling up clutch teams like this, too, then this is going to be an exciting match. Yeah, he's got a couple, like, really janky, like, near to up east. Like, we'll go for, like, near up east suicide if he's at the like right that. percent. Yeah, like that. But, well, sort of, not exactly. He didn't, he didn't make it, but... Uh-oh. Oh. oh. That was scary. Alright, well, let me see what these guys are looking for. I see Ray that Ray is just kind of dancing around the stage, trying not to get hit by uh, Ike's patented combo starter. Sing starter, singular. It kind of looks like they're actually taking turns, like, hanging around on the air platforms. Like, Ray wants to be up there to avoid combo starters, and Mega wants to be up there to find a vantage point to drop down on. You know, with Nair. Yeah, and whenever they get into advantage, they just convert so much into so many different aerials and so many different combos. Like, whenever Mega is at an advantage, he gets like 60, 50%, and then when Utopia Ray's an advantage, he does that, and then all of a sudden, when their back's against the wall, they just have this insane clutch back. Oh. oh! I like what he went for there. He was trying to just retreat off the stage, but unfortunately, he didn't go far enough, and Mega saw that, and it was like, let me just stick my sword all the way off the stage. Nice side. There have been a couple times where he's been able to get sniped by the egg, but I think Mega's being a lot smarter with his recoveries. Gotta love those egg snipes. Gotta love the fact that Banjo Kazooie is a smash. We never thought we'd see the day. <laughs> never thought. That's Cloud. Never thought oh, we'd see the day. <laughs> wow, look at Mega. I've also been noticing that he's mashing out of those down throws really well. Like, oh, yeah. I'm no, I'm known for being able to mash out of these really quickly, but I can't mash out of uh, that guaranteed at 155. It's really impressive. Like sometimes, uh, Ray will go for like the first up tilt, and then it'll hit, but obviously they won't come out. And then Mega's able to mash out just before the second up tilt, and he lives. Insane. Ah. Uh... The up tilt would definitely try come out. I think it's just whiffing. No, if Is you it stay really? buried, if you're if you stay buried, up tilt whiffs. Completely. Really? Wow, that's. Yeah. Is that why up smash is like the safety option sometimes? Uh, up smash is first hit. Yeah, because up smash hits very very once. Oh. Wow. Wait. Nair up air does not get it. And now, once Ray gets back to the floor. Mega's gonna have to think of something else than uh, Nair up dash attack. No? I thought he just dash attack that immediately. He's got a bit of a safety pad here. A safety net here for throwing out a couple of kill moves. He just wasn't expecting like, <gasps> No way. No! <gasps> no! I submit to no one. Did he kill himself with a grenade? Yeah. Oh. Gosh. Gosh diddly darn it. Uh, now, now Mega's yeah, gonna go on chat that. and be like, "Oh, my my Ike is nasty, like His he Ike did is... earlier today." Oh my God, look at that! Oh. Of all the options, though, down air, very well, very well met. But Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, indeed. I like that F tilt that he did there. Just full of hop land F tilt. Yeah, look at those eggs go. Was... I can also see that Ike has no way to avoid Wonder Wing if he has to use Ether to recover. So, I assume they've both been playing around that fact. Yeah, definitely. Like, I know Chopi Ray has been taking advantage of that. It's like an anti, like, Ether move. Because all of the time, Mega will, like, panic at ledge and he won't really have a way of coming back. So, we'll go oh, for the Aether. What's that up? move is definitely just like an anti, uh, no auto snap recovery. If you oh, don't yeah. auto snap, that move just rips you apart. Three, oh yeah, definitely. Alright, time for the final game. Alright, shoutouts to whoever predicted this would be game 10. Um, here it is. <laughs> the real final game. The real, the true final game. 
It's like whoever lands the first hit gets to decide who wins the battle, essentially. I wouldn't say uh, it's that simple here. Uh, I mean, I don't know. It, it's like battle. They've been going to Battlefield for so long, it's like. I don't know. It's like whoever gets the first hit usually gets like a ton of damage. Or they're stuck in a position where they just can't get out of disadvantage or out of the corner. It's like. Yes, but game 10 is a game of miracles, as you know. This is where they're gonna be busting out anything they've been hiding. Any knowledge or special movements they've been hiding up to this point. Actually, I should I should consider the fact that they both have insane clutch factor as well. Final games are always a time for you to show stuff that you may have been holding back just because it hadn't come up yet. And I assume both players are going to be playing much more reservedly because any any shift in the battle is going to have a huge consequence at this point. He's off stage. Ooh. Ooh, okay. First for Omega. That was a nice punish, the dash back F kill. Oh, yes. Oh, I like that he went for the upper instead of fair. He wanted more damage. I did not like that he did that. Uh, that's what we call outplayed. Let's see what happens so, here. Mega's pretty comfortable just camping on flats, pretty much. Yeah, it's one or the other standing on those platforms. If Mega's on him, he can drop through and take with the Nairs. And if Ray's on them, then he can't do that. But it's definitely better. Yeah, they're both hot. Oh no, you, you can go ahead. You can go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say, uh, it's not quite equal in terms of what both players get in turn on standing on the platform. When Mega's standing on the platform, he's gaining an advantage, whereas Ray is negating a disadvantage by standing on it. Speaking it's not quite exactly the same. And speaking of disadvantage, it feels like they're both just so scared and like. They're up air. Does it clinch it again? Oh, the, well, Wonder Wing. It's kind of lucky there. He did like a grab on the opposite direction. Ah. Mega picks up the second stock with another forward tilt. Oh. Just went for it. Yeah, that's. Yeah, I respect that forward air. Trying to duff him. Did he have gone for an up smash there? I'm not too sure. Sitting comfortably with all this rage. Uh oh. What happens here? Oh, he's just throwing out all these wonder ones. Oh, he, he knew, but not enough. So, wow, he picked it up at 130. I'm surprised. It's a chance, but it's gonna be hard, especially if Mega's just standing around on platforms. He gets his opportunity to come down. Yeah. Oh, now he is. Yeah, Ray's gonna try a lot of, uh... Ray's using a lot of complicated movements to try to avoid getting just raw forward tilt or something like that. Oh, and Mega! Mega risks it and takes a low recovery, I'm surprised. That's usually where you see people like bringing out the clutch. I thought he was gonna get sniped, oh. I was worried. Oh no 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 no. Nah, he's fine. He's fine. fine. Okay, oh. fine. Good games, Mega. So I can explain what happened there. He tried to uh, B reverse the nade and it turned into side B instead. Oh yeah, he's, he's done that a couple times. It's unfortunate. Yeah. When I back when I was playing Inkling, I've had I had the same issue. I'd be like, time to be reverse this bomb, and then I start rollering. Oh. Uh. Well, either way, a valiant effort. Good show to Ray, and good stuff to Mega for winning Xeno Wi-Fi 32. Yeehaw.
Great showing, great showing. I think that was all F till that game, wasn't it? I think yeah. all those kills were F Yeah. Damn. Yeah, the ending was definitely a little anticlimactic. But I don't think anyone was expecting that to happen. Or at the very least, I don't think Ray was expecting that to happen. Up till yeah yeah that that down throw catch really caught me off guard yeah there he goes oh. yeah I think 